क्रिएट ए सी शार्प कंसोल प्रोजेक्ट फॉर द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ डॉट नेट कोर एड ए फाइल कॉल्ड मॉडल्स डॉट सी एस एंड एड रेकड क्लास फॉर कैटेगरी दिस क्लास हैज़ टू प्रॉपर्टीज कॉल्ड आई डी एंड नेम ऑल्सो एड अनदर रेकड क्लास फॉर सब कैटेगरी दिस क्लास हैज़ थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज आई डी कैटेगरी फॉरन की एंड नेम ओपन द सोल्यूशन एक्सप्लोर सो दैट वी कैन कम्प्लीट द प्रोग्राम डॉट सी एस फाइल फर्स्ट क्रिएट अ लिस्ट ऑफ कैटेगरीज विद द स्पेसिफाइड डेटा आफ्टर दैट क्रिएट अ लिस्ट ऑफ सब कैटेगरीज विद द स्पेसिफाइड डेटा द क्वेश्चन एक्सरसाइज रिक्वायर्स दैट वी हैव टू बेसिकली ग्रुप द सब कैटेगरी आइटम्स अंडर द कैटेगरी फॉरन की सो दैट रेकर्ड्स अपीयर लाइक दिस हेयर वन टू एंड थ्री आर कैटेगरी फॉरन की वैल्यूज But the problem is that we need to show the name of the category foreign key so that the data looks like this. But the names of category foreign key appear in the categories table which means that we need a join also. Hence the question exercise can be best solved by using the group join extension method which provides grouping also and joining also. Let's apply group join to the categories list now. This extension requires four arguments. The first argument is the list to be joined. We have passed sub categories as the argument here. The second argument is a lambda that specifies the column of the first list. The column in our exercise question is category dot id, and the third argument. is a lambda that specifies the column of the second list the column in our exercise question is sub category dot category foreign key so we have specified the join now the fourth argument is a lambda delegate that receives two arguments the group join method performs the necessary grouping and promises to provide us these two arguments first a category instance that contains the group heading and the second argument is the list of sub category records grouped under that heading the second is a list the first is a category now the purpose of this lambda is to return the final result our final result is an anonymous consisting of two properties for and dresses The for property represents the group heading and the dresses property contains the list of sub categories grouped under it. And lastly, we have set a for each loop on the result set. And first we display the name of the heading, then a second nested loop displays the list of dresses grouped under that heading. And we can now run the project. We verify that the date display is as expected. Thank you.